News 46 is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, the world says goodbye to a pair of entertainment icons. Two officers are injured over the holiday, and dozens of animals are rescued from a fire. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Tuesday, December 27th, 2016. We hope you had a wonderful holiday. I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. The world has lost two entertainment legends in the past few days of reported heart failure at relatively young ages. British pop musician George Michael died peacefully in bed on Christmas Day of what they are reporting is heart failure at the age of 53 years old. An autopsy will determine the exact cause of the unexpected death. Iconic Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher also died this morning. She was 60 years old. Fisher, who played Princess Leia, was hospitalized after experiencing a heart attack aboard a flight Friday night. She was in stable condition and in the hospital. We'll have more on the lives of George Michael and Carrie Fisher on Thursday's Entertainment This Week. An officer received just minor injuries after a truck smashed into the back of his patrol vehicle on the highway Christmas night. At approximately 6 p.m. on Christmas Day, a Nye County Sheriff's Office patrol vehicle was rear-ended by another vehicle on Highway 160 and Irene Street while waiting for traffic to turn. A third vehicle attempted to avoid colliding with the patrol vehicle and ultimately hit the truck, which rear-ended the patrol vehicle. The patrol vehicle was operated by Deputy Toll. He was transported to Desert View Hospital with minor injuries and released. Nevada Highway Patrol is handling the accident investigation. The car was a complete loss. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And a police pursuit ended at a property between Donner and Horn Streets early this morning with the suspect in custody and an officer injured. Around 3 a.m. this morning, the Nye County Sheriff's Office were on a high-speed chase with a vehicle around the center part of the Pahrump Valley. The chase ended at our address on Donner Street. The suspect then fled on foot. Deputies were able to catch up with the suspect after he went through several properties. One of the deputies were injured as a result of an altercation with the suspect. He was transported to Desert View Hospital with possibly a broken wrist. The suspect received minor injuries. It all started when Deputy Anderson attempted to conduct a traffic stop on the vehicle. The vehicle is reportedly stolen out of Henderson and also had a TV set in the back seat. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. The animals trapped inside a structure that caught fire Friday night were saved by residents as the fire tore through the building located on Banovich and Bell Vista. News 46 caught up with Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Bell Vista and Banovich dispatched for a report of a structure fire. Uh, upon arrival, we found an accessory building and located the rear of the property. It was being used as actually a pig pen. And uh, with numerous animals that were in the area, and in fact, I've been told there's over 100 animals in the general area, and uh, all were in jeopardy at one point. Uh, we upon arrive, excuse me, upon arrival, we found the structure fully involved. So our primary uh, goal was to save the animals and make sure there was no injuries to any civilians. And so you guys got the animals out, and were any um, injured or killed? There were no casualties to any of the animals. We had treated one civilian for smoke inhalation. And uh, it was good, but it was a, a good little team effort going on just as we were arriving. A lot of the folks in the area were helping remove and uh, kind of move the animals off to the side so we can get the apparatus onto the property. They even had llamas? They did. They had everything there yesterday. There was llamas, pigs, ponies, um, goats, geese, just about everything you could think of. So um, how did the fire start? Uh, it appears that it originated in the area of the accessory building, probably related to use of a uh, heat lamp. 
that was uh, for some piglets. It, it's the same issue we talked about the space heaters, but trying to eliminate the uh, cl closely located combustibles to heat sources. The piglets are okay though? They are. They were all running around, but they were safe. Your health tip when we return.